You might have noticed that I haven't been posting as regularly in the last couple of weeks. And the reason for that is that uh, I've got quite a few orders through the shop at exactly the same time as my white stoneware, which is a, a clay called KGM Body, uh, made here in the UK. Um, the, I brought a quarter ton of that which seems to all be contaminated with something, meaning it just blisters in the glaze firing. So my dark clay is still fine, which thankfully I've still got that. So firstly I can produce things with it, and secondly it reassures me that it's not the glazes that have gone wrong. The glazes are still working as they should. It's, something's changed with the clay. Um, means that I've been making most orders twice, if not three times and sometimes three times isn't enough and they still haven't worked. Um, so, this is a different clay entirely. I'm testing new white clays uh, and this is called ES130 from Scarver. And most of the other white stoneware-ish sort of, because they call this uh, an earthenware, and technically KGM is a, I don't know, describe it as an earthenware stoneware. Um, but most of the other clays that are white and fire to cone six throw more like porcelain, which this one does. So part of the reason I really like KGM is it's very easy to throw. It's got a bit of grog, and I think the, the grog is the reason, the grog's what's changed, and that's why it's um, blistering in the firing. And it's got a lot more grog in it now and it seems to be much bigger which I think that decomposing is causing some of the blisters but definitely it means what where my surfaces were uh, nice and smooth before if I trim the clay once it's leather hard the grog catches the trimming tools and gouges the clay and I think that physical um, texture to the surface is trapping air and part of the reason the glaze isn't performing the way that it should. So these are all much smoother and throw more like porcelain. And I have not thrown real porcelain for a while now. It's one of those ones where I quite like the challenge of throwing it, but after it warps and cracks and falls apart in the rest of the process, I remember why it is that I never switched to it permanently. But I'd like to think I've got enough control over my process now that I can be slightly more accommodating of porcelain's difficulties. The only problem will be the, um, the KGM and the anthracite, which is my dark clay, were very, very similar, meaning that I bisque them to the same temperature, have all my glazes at the same specific gravity, and apply them the same, basically. The anthracite is slightly less porous from the bisque, so it will take up slightly less glaze, but um, nothing in the magnitude of a porcelain, which in my limited experience at least will take up glaze far more readily than stonewares after a similar bisque. So um, you have to either do a very very quick dip or ideally you'd have your glazes mixed with different specific gravity, as in you'd put more water in them. Um, and Unfortunately, it's not really an option to have all my glazes mixed up to two specific gravities. So it's possible that, um, well, we'll see. We'll see how this one behaves. It throws quite nicely. I mean, again, this is one of those, like, I throw it and think, this throws nicely, and then it cracks. So we'll see. But the other clay that I've tested so far is the PF570. Uh, which again threw very much like porcelain and people were commenting on Instagram that um, they've used it and it's a 
bit prone to cracking as it dries. Uh, I don't want to count chickens before they've hatched, but uh, I threw eight mugs in it. Um, and those of you that have seen my process videos know that I leave things to dry on bats overnight, wire them off when they're approaching leather hard, which in my experience porcelain has never liked. It tends to give it stress um, stresses on the foot that will lead to cracks as it dries. But currently all eight of the mugs are looking absolutely fine. So we'll see. That clay was fairly nice to throw. Again, felt quite porcelain-y. Um, and if you haven't ever thrown porcelain, it's quite hard to describe what, in what way it's different to a stoneware. But um, you'll notice the second you try and throw it. Someone, I've heard it described as like trying to throw cream cheese, which not too far off. It's got a, a weird elastic softness and it's, um, yeah, it's hard to describe. So that, oh, I've lost my ruler, um, should be a small fruit bowl, which I think is hopefully going to be quite a nice test. So I'm doing mugs and a small fruit bowl in each of the new clays. I've got another, I think it's seven um, other white clays that will fire to cone six um, coming in the post. So. I've got quite a few to test, but um, this will be a good indication whether or not I want to try and throw bigger pieces with it, and then how they last. Um, so I will. I'm doing a spreadsheet. At the end of this, I'll do a blog post with each clay, my thoughts on it, its cost, its firing range, etc., etc. So I know. It's not just me that's having this problem with KGM. So a lot of people are looking to replace it at the moment. Um, maybe they'll fix it. I've spoken to the manufacturer, well, I've spoken to Pottery Craft, who's spoken to the manufacturer, who I believe is Valentine's Clay. Um, and apparently they haven't done anything different, which is in a way good that they haven't intentionally made the clay like this, and in a way bad that the clay is like this and they don't know why they haven't changed anything and can't point to any single thing that they've done, um, probably making it more likely that it's going to happen again, even if the next batch isn't as bad. And they are sending me a, a bag of the next batch that they produced to see if it behaves the same way, but what this has taught me, and I, I'd never even really considered the possibility that, you know, pieces go wrong. I, I'm used to having to remake pieces, but I have remade some pieces. I, I think there's one piece that I've redone seven times now, um, because I was throwing two at a time after the first one failed. It was a, a thing that was relatively quick and easy to make. Um, and it's still, I haven't got one that I can send out, which, bearing in mind my business model was making things to order, so people would place an order and then I'd throw it and I said you know it generally take me two to four weeks it'll take me two to four weeks if my clay works if my clay doesn't work um, who knows how long it'll take me so I need a clay I can rely on I don't know if any of these are going to be any better but even if KGM comes back to where it was I'm not sure I really want to either carry on selling that way or carry on using it. I'll, I'll see how these tests go. But um, yeah, pottery can come up with new and interesting ways to ruin all your plans. <laughs>